Hi there, I'm Erin from Senior Golf Source, and today I'll be discussing my recent stay at Lanyard Islands. My family and I, three generations, all went for vacation there over a week long and got to enjoy all their amenities. So today I'll be discussing our favorite parts, what we love most, and some tips to help you along the way. So let's get started. Clinier Islands is located just on 1,200 pristine acres just north of Atlanta. You'll find that the water views are stunning pretty much from every angle and you will be surprised about how rolling the hills are. It almost feels like you're in a different part of the country. The golf course, that 18-hole championship golf course, has water views also from almost every part of it and you will be challenged. <laughs> You'll be going up and down some hills and if you are not in great condition I highly recommend getting a golf cart and not walking it because you'll be getting some cardio in. Beyond golf they have a great resort to stay at. You can stay at the lodge or their villas. Um, the, the difference is largely is that one's more like a traditional hotel room, the lodge, and the villas are is a location that's just slightly further down the hill on the water, private with a gate, and it um, is more like a like a stand in a condo or a, a house on the water. You'll have your privacy and a little bit more space. The lodge we chose that because we wanted to be at the pool, we wanted to be at the restaurants, we wanted to be doing stuff with the whole family. Like I mentioned, we were traveling with three generations, kids. To seniors and we wanted to see and do as much as we could so that worked best for us the lodge feels like a lodge it's rustic it's got like the antler chandeliers it's got the rustic floor um, when we walked in there was a nice fireplace um, on the left when you came in and it was very inviting you could see the pool in the distance behind it the rooms come um, equipped like a, a traditional room with a coffee maker um, cured coffee maker uh, refrigerator um, and a nice balcony that looked over onto the water. Um, some had fire pit views. Um, there's a pav pavilion view I think I had and that one you know looked over at the wedding destination and the some get more of a pool view too. Just depends on which one you book or which one they provide when you check in. Speaking of weddings this is a premier destination for weddings. There was, seemed like a wedding going on every night we were there. Um, so with the, like I mentioned, and how beautiful the grounds are, um, I was not surprised to see that. Um, it's a very romantic place. It's also a nice remote place to come to if you're just looking for a break from the, the, the city. Things to do. Uh, pickleball is on property. You'll have lots of hiking trails. The longest one is like 2.9 miles, but lots of, lots of hiking. If you want to go boating, there's boat, boat rentals nearby. Um, you got Margaritaville there also with pontoon boats and beach and uh, there's a whole water park there. So that's there as well. There's a gaming center, spa. So between that and like I mentioned the swimming out back, you're going to have lots to keep you busy. So you technically would never even need to leave the property in seven days. They have restaurants there as well. But it just really depends on what you're, you know, what you're looking for. So I'm going to go over next my, my tips and hopefully these will save you a little bit of time and maybe, um, you know, maybe a little money too. So first off, um, notice the resort fee. I didn't necessarily catch that first, but I did after I read the reviews. It's $37, I think approximately what I paid. I don't know what it'll be when you book, but it was about $37 a day. Keep in mind you get a lot of amenities with it, but also read the exclusions too. I, you know, the water park, I think there was an extra fee with that. It was closed. It was one of the amenities that was closed when I was there, so I didn't get to enjoy it, but I think there was an extra fee for that. There's certain things that are not included, so golf cart rentals or different things that you want to do. Um, not everything's included, but some things are, so um, keep that in mind. Also, to save you a little bit of money too, 
if you're able to be flexible with your dates, their prices definitely change from winter to um, summer. Um, I happened to book right before in the spring, before the, the busy time, and was able to get a really great price. Um, so you might be able to get a better price depending on when you book, um, especially golf. Golf season really books fast, guys. So you want to make sure that you're booking ahead of time and your tee times are booked online. So check that out in advance so you can get in there and not, you know, be disappointed because you couldn't get a tee time. All right, next up, number two, I would say top tip, make sure you check out other areas. And I, I know you could, I mentioned you could do things on property, you know, the whole time, but I, I don't recommend that. I highly recommend checking out some other areas nearby. If you haven't been to Alfreda yet, I highly recommend that. Or if you're not wanting to go as far as Alfreda, um, that has like the Avalon and shopping and a cute downtown, then I would say you should at least go to Swanee, which is a little bit closer. It's got a cute little downtown with restaurants and shops to walk to. Or if you're a golfer, again, like me, you may want to check out Chateau Elan, and that's just a little further north. And that's got a great, um, great little golf course there, um, golf courses, I should say, and a winery. And so that's just a few things, but Atlanta also is nearby too. Number three mention is when you're there, you're there, meaning that it's like, it takes about 10 minutes to get to the guard gate, um, get settled, get on the island, and you're driving for a bit to get on there. So I didn't realize how spacious, you know, I realized it was 1200 acres, but I didn't know how spacious that whole area is. So it's gonna take a little bit to get out there, um, get settled, plus, the gaming center is not, you know, right next to the hotel. There's certain things that are not real, real close by. So you're going to be either using their trolley or um, some form of transportation to get to some of those places on the island. So um, to take a look at the map and, um, you know, not a big deal, but um, just keep in mind that the trolley is there and you'll want to be, make use of that. And when you're out, out there and you're on the island, sometimes you're like, you're like, it's harder to get off. Well, it's still, it's still good to check out those other things I mentioned. So I hope you found my video helpful. Um, if you're going there on vacation, I'd love to hear your thoughts, your comments, your feedback. Um, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate that. That helps us know too if what you're liking what we're doing. So thank you. Take care.